So without further ado, I'd like to call upon Mr. Liam O'Sullivan, who is the Executive Director of Care Alliance Ireland, to say a few more words of welcome. Thank you, Zoe, and welcome to you all. Um, ten years, I remember, gosh, it would have been June 27th, we had a six-month-old child, and we launched the first week in the Carmichael Centre, which is where our offices are based over Dublin 7. Um, and I remember vaguely running down about half an hour before to get some smoothies for guests who didn't drink tea or coffee. <laughs> Ever since, I seem to have recruited um, volunteers and staff who don't drink tea or coffee. <laughs> so it's the first thing on the interview list. Do you drink tea or coffee? And if you don't, um, so yes, Zoe doesn't drink coffee, but I think Barry, our social media student, does. Um, <laughs> so that's great. Um, so well, thank you for being here, and um, big welcome to people who travel from around the country. Um, welcome to Kate and your man, uh, who travelled from Lim Limerick. And welcome to other speakers who will shortly share with you some of their experiences of family caring. Um, particularly want, want to welcome people who are in the audience and who are watching us from through that iPhone there, we think. Um, thank you and hello. Um, we also appreciate there are many thousands of family carers around the country who maybe can't take part in events because of the caring responsibilities. So we acknowledge, acknowledge that. Carers Week is about recognising the vast contribution made by family carers in Ireland. Each year event organisers around the country make a special effort to reach out to carers who may not have yet availed of support services um, that may be on offer. We know that Ireland's family carers save the state of fortune. They are the backbone of health and social care services. They really are central to the well-being of our community. In previous years at launches, we mentioned research and on findings from research we undertook, spoke about carers' experiences, and, and this research was communicated by video and by, by the written word, and these experiences are still valid today and can be read on our website. We are delighted that again, eight other national organisations have come again, have come together again as partners in the week. Uh, we welcome Inclusion Ireland, um, who are our latest partner to come on board. And we look forward to listening to Fiona, who's going to speak in a few minutes about what it means to Inclusion Ireland um, to be partners in, in the week. Um, as I said, National Carers Week began in 2007 with seven events. Uh, each year, the week has grown in strength, diversity, and reach. Um, and we look forward to this evolution continuing into the future. This year events are organised for family carers in every county in Ireland. It was close, but Kerry managed to kick in <laughs> a last minute goal. I think they have three events down in Kerry. Um, there's about 30 organisations involved um, in organising events, many of them undertaking collaborative ventures with other not-for-profits, with local authorities, with local primary resource centres, with local health centres, and, and that's great. And we wish partners and event organisers the best for the week. We will shortly be announcing the winner of the um, Young Person's Art and Poetry Competition. <laughs> Many thanks to the young people uh, who took part in the competition and indeed their families and their teachers. Um, I was in my son's school yesterday and one of the teachers said, yeah, no, we, we did take part, we're, we're doing stuff and, and she put the poster up on the wall and, and not my son's class and he's kind of taken umbrage to it, but the other third class, they're doing it. But for some reason my son's teacher isn't. Um, but anyway, thank you to those um, teachers who took the time and we, to build into their curriculum about um, you know, sharing and caring and what it means to be involved in caring for someone in your family, be it a granny, be it a neighbour, be it a child with, with uh, a disability. Um, so the week enables carers to take a day for themselves, participate in a range of events um, and I looked through the list of events um, over the weekend and I know we have a street festival in Loch Ray. Um, taking part, a guided tour of Thomond Park, Rugby Grounds, um, and a garden party in Freshford. I'm guessing none have been organised for five o'clock this evening. If they have, I would imagine attendance may be limited. Um, but no, I'm really excited about some of the new initiatives this year. Uh, one being an online Ask Me Anything, I'm a Carer feature on boards.ie. Um, Zoe brought that to us. Zoe's a techno um, expert. So, boards.ie, it's an online chat support forum um, so with two family carers who are facilitating that this year um, 
I believe it's live as we speak, or will be. Um, and hopefully, I suppose it'll give people an insight into what it's like to be a family carer. So it's kind of a question and answer session. Yeah. St. Patrick's Cathedral, just up the road, is, is also on board, and they will be lit up in blue for the week. Um, so I guess you have to wait till about 11 or 12, because it's bright so late these days. But I'm not complaining. Um, our social work student, Barry McConnell, has prepared a short video and interviews uh, with reflections from many people who've been involved in Carers Week over the years. And um, this will be played shortly. Barry found out he was presenting on it about half an hour ago. <laughs> <laughs> He's really excited. Um, <laughs> and we think it'll be a useful, um, yeah, so uh, uh, Barry will speak on it. I think we launched over the weekend and we've got 5,000 viewers to date on it, so that's kind of good. Um, speaking of Facebook, um, the dreaded Facebook, <laughs> um, our National Carers Week Facebook page has gone really from strength to strength. So it's one of those kind of unintended consequences of these initiatives. And um, we've now nearly 14,000 followers. It's a key resource for kind of general care information. We share posts from all our partner organisations, from care organisations. Um, and it's, we found a really useful medium of eliciting family care reviews and experiences and using those to feed back to the providers and um, to inform better supports better services. Um, if you are on Twitter, please do tweet using hashtag carersweek16. That would be great. Um, and I guess now more onto the less interesting stuff in a way. But with the new government does come new promises and new expectations. Um, and late, shortly we'll have one of the new members of your office to join us, um, Senator John Dole. What I can say is progress is being made at last in respect of the implementation of the National Carer Strategy, a strategy that was published now nearly four years ago. Um, I remember we were in government buildings and our wonderful Taoiseach um, kept us waiting. I guess that's what sometimes happens with these important people. Um, but it was a nice day and it was a commitment and it was, I suppose it was the manifestation of 20 years of work by people who, who founded the carers movement in Ireland, the likes of Frank Goodwin and others, who, who so at last we got for once a document saying family carers are important. Um, and we're building on that. The commitments, you know, we're pushing them. We, we think it's time perhaps for a new one that are more ambitious in scope and, and reach. Um, the, and I suppose, let me give you a few examples of where things have progressed. Um, this year in the region of 800,000 euros has been dispersed to about 14 not-for-profit organizations to support in their delivery of family care training, family care information across the country. Um, I understand that today the HSE is launching a new web content and information aimed at family carers, which is wonderful, long overdue, and it was great that we worked collaboratively to get good content, relevant content, and accessible content for family carers. And again, um, the Family Carer Support Grant, previously known as the Respite Care Grant, that's been paid this month to, I think, 70, 80,000 family carers. Um, has been restored to the level that it was at four years ago. So there's some concrete examples of good things that have happened. Having said that, the number of the last number of years have been very difficult for many family carers. But some of this is an inevitable part and feature of caring. Um, we do need to make it as stress-free as possible for family carers to access supports. Getting carers allowance or accessing home care is not always easy. And thankfully, there are organisations out there and we partnered in the week to support people to access those supports and services. Um, we're pleased to see a number of new commitments in the programme for government. Um, commitment to the increases in the carers allowance, increases in home care supports, and a commitment to the full implementation of the, the carer strategy. Um, some would say it's time for a new strategy that is bolder and more ambitious in its goals and, and aspirations. Um, we welcome the announcement in recent days, I think over the weekend, of the extra resources for disability supports. Um, and listening to Minister for Disability, Finian McGrath, over the weekend, um, gets we look forward to those resources being focused on the individual needs of families and those with disabilities, rather than maybe just being allocated to pro rata, according to existing or traditional resource processes. And that's a, that's a struggle and a challenge. Um, we also welcome the Minister for Health's recent success in securing additional funds for home care support and we look forward to receiving details of this shortly. Our own research to be published shortly um, 
is likely to show that in spite of the increases in the overall provision of home care provision since 2013, the simple reality is that underlying deficit in home care has not been addressed, um, particularly since the savage cuts that were implemented in 2012. And that really was a tough year when, when home care budgets were slashed. And, and across the board, budgets were, were, were slashed. But that seemed, looking at the figures, that was a, a really tough year. Things have improved since then. Um, but really, we think, as looking at the figures, we, we feel that an extra 33 million is required in home care provision this year alone um, to bring us back to the level of home care that was available in 2011. If we were to be a bit more ambitious and go back to the level of services that were available in 2008, then we estimate we would need 72 million to bring us there. So they're just some of the some of the challenges. Um, let's be clear, tensions do exist between acute hospitals and community care. People are living longer and healthier for longer, which is great. Um, but communication between various stakeholders is not what it should be. Um, difficult choices about resource allocation need to be made. I was looking at some of the figures and already the vast majority of the overspend in the HSC is in the acute hospital and sometimes the community care is, is, is the poor relation of that. Um, and I suppose finally, I would say personally, the tax cuts are not consistent with comprehensive, publicly funded health and social care services. In the area of home care, we in Carole Island remain cautious about the shift towards home care provided by for-profit organisations. We must remain that at the centre of all times is the needs of families and those they support to live independent lives. The not-for-profit sector, um, by and large, has a very good track record in such provision and often go far beyond what they are contracted to provide for by the state. Um, the rollout of a single assessment tool and a care needs assessment is progressing, however painfully slowly. In time, these will make a difference. Um, but we do know that caring can place immense strain on the carer and um, we also know that being a family carer can be enriching and rewarding either way it's always a valuable role um, so national carers week plays a part in keeping family care issues on the political agenda in the media <coughs> and in reminding us all of the contribution they make towards the well-being of our communities and um, i just got a text there from a former carer um martin o'neill he can't make it today, apparently he's got a match to go to in Paris at five. But Martin did take time off work in 2005 to look after his wife. So thanks Martin and good luck in the match. Um, I don't know if he's given me the, the first 11 on the pitch. I don't know if that's out yet. Um, so look, in, 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 in wrapping up, I'll acknowledge the contribution and support of partner organisations and others for organising events around the country. Um, I want to thank my colleagues Zoe, Denise and Barry and Elaine um, and thanks Neil again for supporting us in the week. Thank you.